Well, all pop is crap because we're old. And that's what happens on hashtag, hashtag just, just saying. Bedtime at <laughs> You get old and you get cranky. And then you take a nap. Oh, I love naps. Why do I feel, I feel like I'm not on now. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. So listen, yep. you came on a good night. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Blasted. <laughs> so, I, I actually, actually, I have a to-do list right here. Are you going to rip it up from the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your lips. <laughs> so, I have some stories. <laughs> That's a good one. I couldn't, I can do this. It's as good as my, it was as good as, yeah, it was as good as my turkey. Like, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> yep. Good as, good as the turkey. So. Bedtime, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> will you, gobble, gobble. Will, <laughs> will you listen to that recently? Or are you just no, reminiscing? Like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I haven't listened. Uh, Sean is disgusting. Um, disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Sean is disgusting. <laughs> Sean is disgusting. A radio show. Uh, uh, the the station is Magic one hundred six point seven, WMJX. Uh, if you're my husband and need call, <laughs> and need call signs. Um, it. Uh, they have a nighttime DJ, and all those nighttime DJs have that like. We want to put you to bed, voice. So they're just like, hey, all right. Hey, baby. Yeah. And they're all trying to be like Barry White. So there's this there's this one guy named David Allen Boucher, and he has like a, like it, it it's, uh, he calls it bedtime magic. And the voice uh, alone just puts you to sleep. Seriously. Off. Like, I remember being a little kid. He was on the air when I was a little kid. Yeah, he's still on. And, like, I'd go out with my parents, and, like, if you were going home late, and David <laughs> Allen, the big DAB, was on the air. You'd be like, asleep by the time you get home. I would fall asleep before we hit the driveway and be like, ugh. And be that thing where you, like, just slump in the back seat. Or for some, some reason, I would end up on the floor on that little hump thing. <laughs> on the thing. <laughs> the little hump. Do they even have those in cars anymore? The little hump thing? Maybe so. Yeah. I don't think mine does. I think it's just a straight floor. Boring. Straight yeah. ass floor. Sometimes for like five minutes straight, you just talk. <laughs> and he'll say like a couple words. Then you have like some silence. Yeah. And then he'd stretch out something about what time it is. <laughs> some silence. <laughs> and then he'd give you the, the quick weather. It's partly cloudy in New England today. Coming up, we've got the Go Go's. <laughs> the Go Go today. The no, I don't even think he would play the Go Go's. Back then, it was just like he would play just like soft, very soft rock, like adult contemporary soft rock type stuff. Yeah, it's all like just the way you are on a loop. <laughs> don't go changing. So. <laughs> And it feels so good. So <laughs> cherish the night. That's a jam. I like cherish. That's a All good song. songs like those. What do we cherish used to hear. the love we had? <laughs> we should cherish the. Uh, okay, real quick. I uh, before we we get too far away. Um. It's we like need binoculars to find us. It's like Sesame Street. Near. <laughs> far. <laughs> Poor Grover. Am I near? No, now you're far. <laughs> so, uh, somebody had commented on one of our videos. Uh, I like comments when... Um, when they're positive. When... <laughs> I don't even, it doesn't even necessarily have to be positive. I don't mind constructive criticism if it's put 
well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, somebody can't just be like, you're shit. <laughs> it's like, tell me what you don't like about it, and I'll do my best to try. Like, um, uh, months and months ago, it was probably a year ago, but it feels like it was months and months ago, uh, somebody had said something about the camera work, and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm trying on the camera work. I'm trying. You know, we'll, we'll get better. I'll get better. It's probably just me. But anyway, so someone had commented on one of our videos, of, of, I, and they wrote it in Spanish, and from what I understand, it's almost like they want us to do Spanish translation. translation. Mm -hmm. I don't speak Spanish. I, I wish I did. Do you remember what it said? Something Espanol. <laughs> I mean, there's a thing, there's actually a thing on YouTube where, um... Hablas en español? I'll show you after. It was just like, el español, something like, hey, speak Spanish. sounds like Spanish. you're asking if we speak Spanish. Yeah, that's, that, that's I kind of... I remember basic Spanish words, that's why I can Jay, Jay translate knows, this one. Jay knows a little too, and he's like, oh... Taco Bell? Verde. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Supreme. <laughs> Donde esta burrito? <laughs> Suave. <laughs> so, anyway, but there's a thing on YouTube that, like, if you speak another language, you can submit subtitles. I mean, if anybody wants to translate our shit and, and put it, uh, make it so that the subtitles are available for people, I'm all for that. Um, I think there's a thing you check where you, like, allow people to do that. I, I thought I had been checking it, like, if anybody wants to do it, do it. Uh, so there's that. If any of the audio people are confused, we do we do the first thirty or so minutes of the show. We put it up on YouTube. We also have um, lots of uh, urban exploration type videos up there, and they're really fun. And speaking of which, I've been re-editing some of them for our secondary channel, which is called Hashtag Explore, mm -hmm. and it has longer edits, different stuff. We're gonna, you know, once we start filming again, we'll hopefully get different stuff. For that channel but we're still gonna post stuff here don't worry about it um, and for the YouTube people it's uh, we have audio it's up on uh, you can listen to the full show it's on iTunes SoundCloud don't drink yet Stitcher <laughs> Google Play <laughs> anchor Happy right there, listen. and Spotify and yeah, you've been spots, baby. and probably other places that we don't even know about yet Hello. so so subscribe you guys know the deal um, so there you go. Now, I, uh, actually, 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 you know, you know what? I don't, okay, I'll get into the story. Well, because I, I have an agenda, dude. I have an agenda. So, all right. Yeah, I know. Let me tell this story before I tell the next story. So, I know, well, because I want to keep everything kind of, I, I swear, sometimes, once in a blue moon, I actually, actually have, like, a, an order of things. So I don't want to get. We're gonna. I have like some creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I'm not tripping on yourself. I am. I'm getting in my own way. I'm getting in my own way. I'm gonna slow down. I'm more quiet. You know what? I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna slow down because I'm. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got plenty of time. There's no reason I have to fly through. It's like, oh my god, say everything now. It's like those memes that I've seen of Back to the Future about um, Doc Brown. Yeah. Always in a hurry, but has a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really, uh, actually, actually, that's actually really accurate. Yeah. That's extremely accurate. He's always in a hurry in like so many scenes, but you got a time machine. Yeah. I do not have a time machine. If I did, I, it would be pretty useful. <laughs> um, but um, I'm, oh. I'm dumb. <laughs> so this story is about the other day I went to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me tell the you the go to the market. Mm. The go to the market. Now the going to the supermarket in and of itself see I've slowed down a little bit. Yay. I'm chilling now. I'm 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 okay. So <clears throat> Going to the market now, in and of itself, is just... It's better, but it's still not fun. Okay? Wouldn't be today. <laughs> really? 
I took a half day at work today. Yeah. You, everybody is out right now. Oh dear. You would think that this would be like the last day of everybody's life. <laughs> and they were told go out and do something that you've been wanting to do. And they all, oh, I was going to say, and they all went to the supermarket? But no. You just mean out everyone, in general. Everywhere. Uh-huh. Like going from work to my apartment. Just had to take like three different detours of the way I, I didn't want to go. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's out today. And it's, it's Friday. It's not like it's a long holiday weekend. No, Unless there's a holiday coming up I don't know about because I'm unemployed, so I don't know. <laughs> So, I went to the supermarket. I don't, I don't know what freaking day it is. I don't know what day it is. Well, I know what day it is because you're here. here. Uh, if you were not here, I would be lost in, in my week. I'd be like, is it Thursday or Wednesday or what the hell? So. Oh, well, if you're unsure, just listen to David Allen Lucia. <laughs> he'll tell you when and what time. Yeah, but he'll tell me before I go to bed and then I'll get confused waking up. <laughs> so, I went to the supermarket and... I, I have in the back of my car, I got a box, a box of masks, the disposable surgical kind, and I also have a box of, like, alcohol wipes, okay? When I go in, this is, this is gonna get deep really fucking quick, right? I'm sorry for swearing. I've, I've, no, I'm seriously, like, I've been, I was listening to, I'll get into this later, but, uh. I was editing some stuff earlier, and I was like, damn, I swear a lot. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I've been trying to lighten up on, on my side. Shut nods in agreement. I Okay, so I promise going forward, I will try to cuss less. Sometimes it's the only word, though. Sometimes it's that's all you got, right? Like sometimes uh, when I'm with my girlfriend and her daughter, yeah. and we're talking about the podcast, yeah. sometimes I want to say to her daughter, like, do you want to watch me on the show? Yeah. But he can't. She's seven. <laughs> She's seven. And we have potty mouths. <laughs> no. I don't think she'd be interested in anything we're talking about anyway. <laughs> no, she just, like, she would just be more into, like, looking at the picture. Oh, all right. So, I took it out. I always take an alcohol wipe in the store with me, and I wipe the carriage down. Mm -hmm. All right. Then, quick on my hands. Well, I quick on my hands first, wipe the carriage down, throw it away, right? They have a little rubbish thing or trash, depending upon what part of the country you're in. <laughs> Not everybody says rubbish, and they get confused. What garbage. The, what the hell is rubbish? <laughs> throw it in the garbage. That's garbage. Garbage. So you throw it in the, in the trash, and then I begin my shopping ex extravaganza. So I'm at the front of the store now. I'm wearing one of my favorite t-shirts, which is not this one, but it's uh, my Oregon Trail t-shirt, and it says, you've died of dysentery, and I love that shirt. Uh, where my car goes, because pockets. I love pockets. You can't get enough. Especially now, like, I can keep an extra mask. This and be a nickname. Pockets. <laughs> What's up, pockets? <laughs> Better than Febreze. <laughs> so, I got... I got pockets, so I got my cargoes on, I have my, my Adidas shoes, I have a hat, right? So I'm just giving you, I'm not bragging about my attire, I'm just <laughs> telling you exactly what what we're dealing with here, right? So I begin wiping down my carriage. There's an elderly gentleman who not only parked like a space next to me, mm -hmm. but was he's like lingering in the front so i'm like what is he doing right so i'm just about done i'm about to throw the wipe away homeboy <laughs> grabs my carriage and says thanks <laughs> this is when you're done right afterwards after i've just finished wiping the carriage down to yeah. go in or come out? To go in. I don't wipe it so when I'm done. He's trying to steal your carriage. He's trying to steal my clean carriage that I've just spent several minutes wiping down. Yes. Get out of here. Get your own. I looked at this guy and I was like, dude, that's my carriage. And he looks at me and he goes, oh, it is? <laughs> Do you think Why I... Why do 
people so dumb? Do you think I stand at the front of stores and just wipe carriages down for people? I mean, I need a job, but I don't <laughs> want that job. Right? That sounds like an easy job. It does sound like an easy job. I shouldn't poo-poo the job. Yeah. How much does the job pay? I'll do it. How much? <laughs> right? Monday through Friday only. I don't wear weekends. No nights. No nights. So this guy looks at me and goes, oh, well, I thought you worked here. I went, are you serious? Like, look at how I'm dressed. Mm -hmm. Why would I work here? <laughs> what? Why would I work here? I need a job, but why would I work here? <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? And he goes, so I can't have it? No. <laughs> I said. D-bag, no. D-bag. I said, no, you may not have my carriage. What's wrong? And he goes, oh, okay. And he kind of, he kind of lets it go, right? So I grabbed the carriage that I had cleaned. And as I'm walking away, he goes, well, I was going to say thank you. And I turned and I was like, well, then I would have said you're welcome. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say to somebody like that. But what a rude punk. <laughs> oh, my God. That's how everyone's been since this whole stupid COVID-19 shit started. Like, why would... I am not dressed Seems as like an employee. Everyone's getting more and more... Stupid. Yeah, stupid, dumb. My uh, God. They make up their own rules. And listen, we're all weirded out. Everybody, nobody likes to wear a mask. It's not fun. I got something about that, man. Oh, good. I want it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's like, no, it's nobody's having a good time. Nobody's having a good time. And we all had things we wanted to do, and now you can't do them. It all sucks, all right? But let's not turn on each other and steal carriages from people who just spent five minutes wiping it down. Mm -hmm. All right? What's your mask thing? <laughs> My rant is over. What's your mask thing? When I was at work today. Yes? Uh, the payroll lady came in. Mm -hmm. And my coworkers were asking, are you taking a half day and going to the beach today? Because <laughs> that's what she usually does over the summer with her husband. Uh, she takes a half day and then you spend a day at the beach. Okay. She's, Life's a beach. <laughs> she mentioned that how they were interested in going to the movies, but mm -hmm. she called the movie theater. Yeah. She found out this information. Okay, I'm ready. They're open. Mm -hmm. They're only allowing around 25 or so people in at a time. Mm -hmm. They're not serving refreshments, and you can't bring yours in. And you have to wear a mask throughout the entire movie. <sighs> yeah. That sounds like fun. <laughs> you know what? I mean, this is just... Uh, An hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. You gotta sit there with the Two mask hours, on. yeah. I mean, this is just another... Um, but then it's not like Star Wars or something. Yeah, it'd be three hours. <laughs> it's just another boon for drive-ins. There are these drive-ins that have been popping up. And uh, they're doing some pretty good business. Because that's all you can really do right now. Yeah. It's great. Because, like, you don't really need to use a mask because you're in your own car. Mm -hmm. That's right. Especially if you got a neck. Especially what? If you got a neck. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you said something about a neck. And I'm like, what did... The old-fashioned term. Said? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? What was that on, um... Oh, my God. What was that? The, the newlywed game? Uh, you don't remember the Newlywed game? With Bob somebody was the host. Bob somebody <laughs> was the host. Holy shit, Bob. I want to say Bob Euchre, but that's somebody else. <laughs> Just a bit outside. Bob, uh, I can see his face. <laughs> What's bothering me is I can Baba. see his face. Bob. Bob. What's bothering me is I can see his face. And he had, it was old. It was like, it's an old show. So they, I think it might have him. No, well, he was. He was <laughs> I saw his face and it was old. <laughs> Damn, he's old. No, no, but I'm saying it was like a, uh, like a late '70s, early '80s show. So they had like the old school mic, kind of like Price is Right, where it was like that thin mic, that pencil thin mic. It's like a long one. Yes, 
And you're like, what is happening with his mic? Anyway, the newlywed game to skirt um, trying to be uh, sexual when <laughs> when they would say anything about you know an, an intimate moment, they would say whoopee. <laughs> Make it whoopee. Yes, yes. <laughs> and Bob would be like, oh, are you you know, making whoopee? And everybody used that as an answer because it was just so ridiculous to have it like a grown person go. We were doing whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> and during it, we were saying whoopee. No kidding. It is hot as balls in here. Yeah, oh. So, while I was in the supermarket, I don't I don't know when this happened. It well, might have... Wh make it whoopee in your car. To the supermarket. supermarket. Yep, yeah, because that's my life. <laughs> so, well, no, because this was one oh, of the... you want to talk about whoopee. <laughs> I don't even know, Whoopi. So, <laughs> well, no, because... Um, what was Whoopi like back in the 70s, people? Anybody know? I'm guessing it was bad, because they had... Uh, Probably really dirty. They had those those shag carpets. <laughs> well, no, because there's... Austin there's Powell, um, Yeah. Yeah, no, baby. Well, no, because yeah. I have... I have, like, two stories, but I'm saving them for the second half of the show. So if, I'm gonna plug it now. So if you like like creepy stuff, um, you're gonna want to listen to the second half of the show. Sorry, YouTube. Um, it's, it's believe me, you're gonna want to hear this. It's creepy. If you yeah, like Joe, listen. I know. So before we get into that, I'll, I'll tell you this thing. So I was in the supermarket and I was shopping, and I had I was in the cookie aisle. And I very rarely cookie. I don't make it whoopee. Make it a whoopee with the cookie. <laughs> I'm lightheaded. Ah, good. Good, that'll learn you. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, Pen. Oh, don't you hate that? I had that problem earlier when I was making notes. Stupid pen was pooing out on me. So, I don't know when this occurred because it happened. It might have happened right, you know, before my eyes. But, so I was in the cookie aisle. <laughs> now, it's, it's, that's not my favorite aisle because there's very rarely any cookies in there that I enjoy. I don't like Oreo cookies very much. And they trick me all the time, Oreos, because they're like, hey, look what we have in the middle now. And then I'll go, oh, that might be good. And the it's, same thing with just uh, food coloring? <clears throat> yeah, or they'll be like, hey, wouldn't you like an apple pie Oreo? And I'll go, I might. And then I try it, and it's shit. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper, too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. So, I don't really like Oreos. <clears throat> although they keep tempting me. And fall is coming. So, all the pumpkin spice, uh, candy corn flavored shit will be out. Yeah, I remember last, uh, last fall. Yeah. Like, everything was pumpkin spice. Yeah. Well, it's already happening. Because I was in the store Wednesday or Thursday, and like the pumpkin spice Cheerios and all that crap is out already. Because the stores don't have anything, they're like, "Well, what can we do? Well, we'll just send, we'll sell Halloween stuff now." Is what we'll do. So, that's right. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Coughing is like. A yawn. <laughs> it's like you coughed, and now I've coughed like twelve times. So, I was a little sad. I was in the cookie aisle, and I'm sad because there's nothing. <laughs> it's, you can't be sad in the cookie aisle. I am because there's never anything in there that I like. Right? Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I am very cookie basic. I just want like chocolate chip and walnuts, and you can't find that anywhere. If you want it, you gotta make it, and I'm too, la I'm too lazy for that. 
Yeah, just chocolate chip and walnut. I still see the um the great value version all the time. Yeah. Well the chips ahoy. The well the chips ahoy that I see are just chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah, well I don't want just chocolate chip, I want chocolate chip and walnut. I want something mixed in there to break up the taste. <laughs> That's what's happening. And if you want that, you have to make it yourself because everybody's allergic to fucking nuts now. Oh, no nuts. Man. No nuts for you. Oh, we're just surrounded by nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. So They're all driving, yeah. They're all stealing my carriage is what they're trying to do. <laughs> so I'm in the cookie aisle, sad in the cookie aisle. Now here's the thing, right? So I pass Fig Newtons. And I stop. Because I said, I haven't had a Fig Newton. Man, it's been forever since I've had a Fig Newton, right? And if you don't know what Fig Newtons are, I don't know what to tell you. Basically, it's like a Fig Newton. It's, it's we'll like figure, a... We'll figure that out. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, um, like a breaded, I don't know. Just to fucking Google it. I don't know. It's like a little breaded sandwich, though. Yeah, it's like a little sandwich cookie, I guess. It has a filling. It's a cookie with a filling. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it's my I brain. I feelings. <laughs> I'm going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> so, I was looking at the Fig Newtons because I was like, oh, I haven't had Fig Newton in forever. And I stopped and went, holy shit. I audibly went, shit. Because, and I was alone in the aisle, so nobody was there, and like, people like, oh, you're weird. So. They just watch it on the camera, that's all. I know, I don't care, I don't care. Oh, please, if they're watching me on camera, they're watching me every eight paces pull up my pants. <laughs> they're like, what is wrong with this person? That's probably why they're watching. <laughs> probably. They're placing bets when, uh, whether or not they're going to drop. And I take like two hops back <laughs> to grab something. <laughs> we we'll walk backwards down the aisle and be like, wait, what? So... Is she walking backwards or is this how we wind? Did you reverse this? <laughs> what speed is this? <laughs> so... I know. <laughs> so, I was looking at the Fig Newtons and they brought back strawberry and blueberry. Oh, <gasps> They haven't had strawberry and blueberry Fig Newtons. I can't tell you how long. Right? Mm -hmm. So I got all excited. I was like, oh my god, strawberry and blueberry, holy shit. Because before you could only get the fig, and then for some reason they brought back a weird triple berry thing. And I was like, ugh, I don't want that. But the blueberry and strawberry, I was so excited. So they were on sale. So I grabbed some. So I brought them home. And Jay came home. <clears throat> and then he goes, so I was telling him some of the stuff I got. And I said, oh, I got uh, Fig Newtons. And he goes, oh, okay, cool. I haven't, had, I haven't had Fig Newtons in a while. I was like, yeah, you never think about it, right? It's like you don't think about Fig Newtons until they're in front of you. And then you're like, oh, wow, I haven't had Fig Newton in a long time. No, you haven't. So then I said, yeah, strawberry and blueberry. He went, they make it again? He was so excited, right? So the packaging has changed. So he was a little off about that. He's like, oh, they changed the packaging. I don't, I don't care about the packaging. It's 2020. It's not going to be like 1980 something. Mm -hmm. So, we were enjoying some, some blueberry Newtons, which are the best ones, by the way. <laughs> and we were talking about the packaging, and then I remembered that they had an apple one. Mm. <gasps> the apple Newtons were the best. And now I'm, I don't know, I, I'm disappointed because they didn't bring back the apple, only the blueberry and the strawberry. Because we like it, I guess. Two at a time. I know. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, though, that they'll bring back the apple. Because, oh, that is some good shit. That's how we're going to feel with Doritos if I bring back four cheese. No. Oh. You know. Dorito dopes. Ha! There's a uh, store. Not that far from me, but I can't go there right now because of quarantine. But they sell uh, Doritos, Cheetos, all kinds of weird Everything with O's. Chips. Yeah. Doritos, Cheetos, <laughs> these O's, those O's. All those <laughs> chips and stuff. 
from Suppose. from other countries, right? So I was kind of I was excited, and I was <laughs> like, oh man, because I'm hoping <clears throat> that I can find a Dorito from like I don't know Singapore or something that tastes like the four cheese. Uh -huh. I haven't yet <laughs> because I can't get there, but you know, fingers crossed. <clears throat> That, that will be my only hope of ever getting anything close to the four cheese because Doritos simply won't bring it back. There is one uh, nacho cheese flavor type chip. Yeah. It used to be out when we were kids. I can't remember the name of it, but they were round shaped. And I used to love mm. them so much. Like, better than Doritos. Round shaped? Yeah. I always wish I'd see them again. <laughs> uh, I couldn't tell you what the name is. They were like a nacho? Mm. Huh. And they were round. Nacho round, huh? Mm. Nacho chip. <laughs> <laughs> it's nacho business. <laughs> <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't remember that. I remember the uh, pizza ums. Those were good. Um. <clears throat> pizza ums, that's what they were called. Pizza <clears throat> um. Yeah. Um, Those were like little triangle chips, almost just like Doritos, but they tasted like pizza. And they were done by Keebler, I think. And oh, those were good. You could whack a whole bag in one sitting and not even blink. You're like, did I eat all these little chips? It sounds like they got lazy. They started the. Like they were sitting around a room trying to figure out the name of it. Like, yeah. Pizza. Okay, let's go with it. Uh, pizza. Pizza, um, pizza, um... You're a genius! Right there. That's it. You're a genius, Jen. Pizza, um, that's what pizza, it is. Pizza, um, that's what it is. Lazy bear. Ah! <laughs> Seriously. Oh, so... Pizza, O's. Pizza. -os. Let me close this out. I was, um... I emailed, not emailed, I texted my supervisor to ask if I could use her for a professional reference. <laughs> That's some cold shit. You want your knife back? <laughs> so I I texted my supervisor. I texted my supervisor and I was like, "Can I use you as your professional reference?" And she's like, "Yeah." Now I don't know what she was thinking. Uh, if I like expected her to lie or something, because she immediately said, "Well, I was I was kind of the group leader, so it's not a lie." And I was like, whoa, 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 I'm not asking you to lie. Uh, you were legitimately the, the team leader, so it's we're, we're all telling the truth. <laughs> oh, truth is nothing but the truth. Yeah, so she's like, oh, okay. So then I emailed my old boss. Let me tell you how Tara thought this would go. Versus what actually happened. Actually. Actually. I emailed the boss, and I said, um, hey, how Rich. are you? Now, I always had uh, a way, like, every email correspondence I always did, I would start off with greetings. Greetings, blah, 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 blah. So I started the email with greetings, and I was like, oh, I hope that gives her a little heart attack. Like, <laughs> greetings, like, oh, I see the greetings. Greetings from hell. Yeah. So I, I asked her if I could use her as a professional reference. And then I said, you know, if you're uncomfortable about that, just let me know. Whatever it is, you know, it'll, it'll, I'll have to deal with it. <clears throat> so what I thought was going to happen was she was going to write me back, say yes, and then add on like, hey, you know what? We're real sorry about laying you off and, you know, oh, we're just not the same. No. Something, something like, <laughs> oh, you know, we kind of miss you, you know. <laughs> It didn't even have to be like, we, we, we miss you and we can't function without you. It'd just be like something like soft, like, oh, we kind of miss you. We miss you. Not a lot, but just we miss little, you. a little. A little. We miss you a little bit. A minute amount. <clears throat> a little bit. I got back. I got back an email from her. You're that's... hired with a raise. <laughs> We're bringing you back to twice your salary. That's laughable. Yeah. I got back an email from her that said, Yeah, no problem. That was it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I went, Seriously? Mm. 
You couldn't even say anything else? Ugh. Everybody was right. You are a bitch. No, I didn't say that. You should screw with them in the morning. What? Do you call me? I'm not going to be into that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I should do that every day. Be like, I won't be in today. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, my... No, my like, I know. Are we bring her back? Why is she calling in sick? I don't know. <laughs> calling in sick today. Like, I can't come in. Snow day. <laughs> You're like, it's August. I'm well, not feeling no full. Yeah. Not where I am. <laughs> so... Hell. Because in, in in my mind, I'm, I'm well, I'm still sitting tight on that other job. And I'm hoping that guy calls me. So I said, I need to have everything in a row so I'm not scrambling. So I decided to reach out to these people and be like, I already have my personal references all in a row. But I was like, I should at least get a couple of professional ones. So I have those ready to go. If that guy ever calls me. <laughs> now it's been two weeks. Two weeks. I know. And I'm like, how long am I supposed to wait? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two, I don't know if I can wait two more weeks. Tell your parents two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just so like, you know. I mean, I, it, I wouldn't mind if he told me what the holdup was. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, well, we're just not ready to bring people in for interviews yet. Okay, cool. I understand that. Fine. You know, let me know. Real phone. Well, I mean, that could easily be done also, which is what makes everything even weirder. You know, like, do like a video conference, and you sit here and you look a little professional up here. <clears throat> You're tired. And I'm wearing shorts. You don't have to wear anything. <laughs> you just sit there half naked and just. They'll think you're fully dressed. You know what? With my luck, I'd be holding the phone like this. The dog would bark or something. I'd go, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, like, you know, they'd get a shot. They'd get an eyeful. No, thank you. <laughs> nope. That's how you don't get a job. <laughs> that's how you get fired, actually. <laughs> I'm 100% certain HR would fire people for that. Okay, so goodbye to the YouTube. Be sure to check out the whole show. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> Go listen. You're going to hear what she wants to talk about. It's some good stuff, I'm telling you. We will see you next time. Uh, Scarecrow, I'm going to miss you most of all, but not Dorothy. She's a bitch. <laughs> Sean, you're something to tell you. Tell them, Sean. Have I can't even see if I'm in frame. Uh, just your arm. Oh. Have a good everything. Word to your mother. <laughs> I can't. Cool as ice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That fucking movie. I'm stuck. <laughs>